Good morning, fellow hobby machinists. This is Olin Nemac coming to you from my shop in Southern New Hampshire. Today I'm talking about my little machine shop 5550 bench mill. This is the same as the LMS 5500, but with a factory installed Bluetooth DRO. It is the LMS branded version of the Sieg SX 2.7. This is my first vertical milling machine, and for the past several weeks, I've been going through it, setting it up. I mounted a power feed on the x-axis and a power lift for the z-axis. These are accessories that I purchased with the mill and had to install myself. Today, I'm checking the squareness of the spindle to the table, aka tramming. I'm really hoping it's okay because so far I haven't found much on the internet with detailed instructions on how to shim the column. So here goes. Here's a shot of my setup. I've got a Noga style arm uh, with the end held in a collet in the spindle and a test indicator um, with half thousands divisions on it. And I can swing that around in a, you know, about a five, six inch radius to cover the, the entire table. So now I'm gonna get ready to make some measurements. So I got the indicator set on the front edge of the table. It's sitting on a little gauge block and I've got everything zeroed out. I have, I'm about in the center of the table I have locked the spindle and the quill, and so I've done everything I know how to do. And right here at the front, it is reading right on zero. Now if I rotate it 90 degrees, I've got about a thousand. If I go on around to the back, it's maybe two thousandths. Let me go back to the front, see if I can repeat. And it's at about something less than a half thousand, so that's not bad, I think. This is the this is what I got, and I certainly welcome some input. I can't imagine at this point in my limited uh, work uh, that I know enough to start fooling with it. So I appreciate any input and comments, directions, if you know of some good instructions. Uh, one thing for sure, the, the manual that came with this machine doesn't have any information uh, of how to check things or what to do. And I'd like some more how-to information before I start fooling around with any of the uh, settings and, and whatnot. Uh, this isn't a nice bridge port where it's got adjustments. Uh, what I got, it looks like, is I can loosen the bolts that hold the column to the base and start going with shims, and I'm not ready to do that. So, I appreciate your watching. I appreciate your input. Have a good one.